How's it going everyone? My name is Hank and welcome back to the channel. Now with the release of the uh, Vault International Bitcoin Fund on InvestNow, uh, there's quite a few people that ask me what I think about the particular fund and whether or not it's worth investing in. So in this video, I'll be giving some reasons why I think investing in Bitcoin funds is a bad idea. So first of all, what exactly is the Vault International Bitcoin Fund? The uh, Vault International Bitcoin Fund, according to their website, uh, is a uh, New Zealand based Pi fund. And this fund enables investors to invest in Bitcoin within a Pi fund that is taxed to the uh, fair dividend rate, which is the uh, FDR method. So what exactly is in this Bitcoin fund? So the Vault Digital Funds will make investment decisions according to uh, three objectives, according to their website. So they want to closely track the price of Bitcoin. Now, they mentioned that they want to closely track the price of Bitcoin. But uh, it's not the actual price of the Bitcoin. They are literally just acting as the middleman while purchasing a Bitcoin fund. In fact, I can prove this by going to a trading view and looking up some of the funds that they are actually investing in. According to their own product uh, disclosure statement, some of the funds that they in, uh, invest in include the uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, the uh, CI Galaxy Bitcoin ETF and the 3IQ CoinShares Bitcoin ETF and the Purpose Bitcoin ETF. So if I look at the performance of the uh, gray, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, if we look at the uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, which is a trust that is traded on the uh, US exchange, and we can overlay the uh, price of a Bitcoin on top of it to find out how it compares to the uh, actual Bitcoin price. So if we put in uh, BTC and versus USD, so we can see the actual price of a Bitcoin is the uh, orange line here. And if we compare it to the price of the uh, Bitcoin trust, the price of the actual Bitcoin is actually significantly higher than the uh, price that you get for the uh, Bitcoin trust. So the uh, Bitcoin trust does not completely reflect the actual price of the Bitcoin itself. The second thing uh, that's in this Bitcoin fund is the management fees. So with the management fees, the annual charges for this particular management fee is 2.4% plus around 0.1% GST, which means that you end up with a 2.5% fee on your uh, fund every single year. Not only that, the uh, fund also has a buy and sell spread of 0.25% each way, which means that if you are buying and selling a uh, Bitcoin fund with uh, the uh, Vault International, you're actually paying up to 3% in terms of management fees. And that is really quite high when it comes to manage management fees. Thirdly, this uh, Bitcoin fund says that they provide further diversification through investing in various offshore funds. Now, I don't really understand how it's considered as diversification when essentially it's only just investing in Bitcoin. Now, there's thousands and thousands of uh, cryptocurrencies out there and just saying that they invest in a different offshore funds that pretty much all invest in Bitcoin is not what I mean by uh, diversification. If they're actually looking for diversification, they should really be uh, looking to invest in different cryptocurrency in order to spread out the risk. To me, there's some crazy mental and financial jargon and gymnastics going on here. Okay, let's go further down on their website and see what they mention are the benefits of investing in this uh, Bitcoin fund. So first of all, it says that it's an easy, uh, quick and simple way to invest in Bitcoin. So I have released a video showing you how you can buy Bitcoin within five minutes. And I highly doubt that they can actually do their uh, investment within five minutes. So uh, currently uh, you can buy this particular fund on invest now. And InvestNow actually pulls and get uh, pulls investments together, and it takes at least a day or two to actually execute the order. So you definitely will not get the uh, current price of the whatever fund that you're trying to buy. You literally have to wait for at least a day or two for your order to come through. So it's definitely not a, a quick way to invest in Bitcoin. Secondly, they mentioned that this investment is a pie fund and the tax is capped at a rate uh, maximum of 28% on a 5% uh, using the FDR method. 
Now, if you have less than uh, 50,000 invested in this uh, overseas fund, you're not even subjected to the FDR method in the first place. So if you invest in the Bitcoin yourself, you're not even uh, subjected to this tax. So this is definitely not a benefit as this uh, would say here. Thirdly, it mentioned that the uh, VIBF is capital gains tax-free for uh, New Zealand residents. And I would heavily, heavily dispute that. On the IRD website, it says that if you are acquiring crypto assets to sell or exchange well, for the purpose of disposing them, you will need to pay income tax on any profit that you make. And since there's literally no other reason why you would ever buy a crypto asset such as Bitcoin, apart from hoping that it gives return to the future, it covers every single situation out there. Now, they are saying that this particular Bitcoin fund is taxed with the FDR. In contrast, uh, if you invest directly in Bitcoin, then you have to pay tax on uh, realized capital gains. In reality, any gains in cryptocurrencies when you sell them should be taxed as income. So if you use the Bitcoin fund, it basically means that you get hit by a management fee, you get hit by the FDR fee, and you also get hit by the income tax. Lastly, they claim that all the funds that they invest in uh, overseas hold the assets in cold storage. So cold storage basically means that you're holding the uh, cryptocurrency in a physical uh, device such as a USB drive or a hard drive, and then it's not actually uh, on the uh, exchange itself. And that's what I mean by uh, cold storage. And hot storage is when you have the uh, crypto wallet in an online exchange. So what they're saying is all the assets is actually in cold storage, which technically uh, would be more secure because people will have to physically break into the uh, facility if they want to steal anything. However, I don't think they can actually prove the claim that old all the funds that they have are stored within cold storage and uh, regulated uh, with uh, institutional grade security. Now, at the moment, pretty much all the US-based uh, Bitcoin ETFs do not actually hold Bitcoin itself. Now, instead, they hold positions in Bitcoin future contracts. Now, if you do not know the difference between holding Bitcoin and holding a uh, Bitcoin future, you absolutely should not be uh, investing in them. Now, there's nothing worse than not knowing what you're actually invested in. So a futures contract is an agreement to buy an asset at a particular date. Now, without going into tons of financial jargon, an ETF that invests in Bitcoin futures uh, will trail the performance of actually owning the Bitcoin assets because they need to keep on renewing this uh, future contract. Now, this means the fund would actually lose value over time even if Bitcoin prices stay exactly the same. While this Volta Digital Bitcoin Fund invests in quite a few uh, overseas Bitcoin funds that are based on the Canadian exchange, which unlike the US exchange actually holds uh, physical uh, Bitcoin, it still doesn't mean that the uh, prices will completely uh, match the uh, underlying Bitcoin assets. So what are you actually investing in when you invest in a fund such as the uh, Vault Digital uh, Bitcoin Fund? Now, what you're actually getting is a middleman to buy an overseas Bitcoin fund for you while charging a high fee, while not really getting the exact same returns. Now, for all of this, when you can simply buy Bitcoin yourself. Now, it's a super easy uh, process that can be done literally in minutes. It just takes a while to uh, get your account authenticated, but the process is extremely easy. Now, what's more, the fund is not even like a managed fund where the uh, fund managers would uh, buy and sell a uh, particular company stocks in order to try beat the market. Now, in these Bitcoin funds, they simply just buy uh, Bitcoin and there's no diversification going on with many of these funds. And I just don't see why you would need someone else to uh, buy the uh, cryptocurrency for you. To invest in the fund because you simply cannot be bothered learning about cryptocurrency is an absolutely terrible idea. Now, if you really want to uh, invest in Bitcoin or any other sort of cryptocurrency, the best way is to uh, buy the uh, particular Bitcoin or other cryptos on an exchange and store it in your crypto wallet, whether it be an online hot wallet or in a physical cold wallet. 
So that is my honest personal assessment on these Bitcoin funds. Again, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Like and subscribe if you found this helpful and I will see you next time.